Hi, good afternoon. This is Orvin, your teacher for advanced exam. Well, I want to greet you. Uh, very nice day. Now, today we're going to introduce the Microsoft Excel. Uh, actually, this is a, a review since I assume most of you already undergone IC3. If not, uh, your IT classes in your secondary school. So let's start. I'm going to open an Excel file. I will share to you my window. Okay. So if you can see right now, I opened the application in Microsoft Excel. And as we know, all Microsoft applications have their name, general name for their application. So Microsoft Word has um, document and Microsoft PowerPoint has presentation. So Excel is uh, a spreadsheet, that's a general name. When you open a file, it's called a workbook. Okay, a workbook is consists of worksheets. So as you can see here, this is uh, sheet number one. So this is the name of the worksheet. You can add another worksheet by clicking the plus sign here. Okay, you can rename the worksheet by double clicking on the name itself or right click rename and so on. So as you can see right now, this is uh, our interface for our Microsoft Excel. So what is very important is for us to know first the parts of this and the most important part is the, what we call the ribbons. Now make sure you show the tabs and commands. So these are the tabs and commands. So understandably, um, the ribbon is conceived, consists of um, three main parts. The tab, home tab is an example. Insert, page layout, those are what we call tabs. Okay. So first, three bonds. The bonds are consists of tabs, and each tab has what we call the group. So the groups, the font group, the alignment, the number for the home tab, the insert. You will have another groups, tables, add-ins, charts, and so on. So the second part of the ribbon are called the groups. And the last is each group has the for uh, each command, which when you click, it will be your uh, when you click each one of this button that will perform a particular task, which will be your command. So command. So these are the three types or three parts of the ribbon. So I hope you can follow. We're just going to finish our orientation. Another uh, important, uh, the other important parts or aspect of advanced Excel is the columns and the rows. Why is it important? Because this is the intersection of the columns and the rows, which we call the cell. This is where we put the data and uh when you name the cell you name it by uh, cell address or cell reference which we start with the letter which is the column and the number which is the row okay so this is the address bar and then we have the function bar this is where we write the formula and if it is a formula you always start with an equal sign 
if it is just a general uh, text or characters or words, you just type it directly. So when I type my name, Orven, so that's just a text. If you want to write a formula, you start with equals sign. Like if you want to add cell D4 class E4. So it doesn't have anything yet, but that's how you write a formula. So when you write 3 in D4 and 3 in E4, so your formula in D5 will be executed. Okay? So that pretty much is the introduction or our review for advanced uh, for the Microsoft Excel application. So I would like you to hang on and monitor our lessons for the next videos. Thank you very much. I will see you again. Bye.